we're going to take a look at a case of acute aortic dissection on CT. Here's a CTA of the chest with the thoracic aorta protocol. This includes a pre-contrast series. You can see that the chambers of the heart and the great vessels are dark. This helps us evaluate for findings like an intramural hematoma or intimal calcific displacement. Neither of those findings are present here, but what we already notice is that the ascending aorta is dilated. You can go ahead and measure the diameter. It's about 4.6 centimeters. So we already know there's either a dissection or an aneurysm. That's when we can move on to the post-contrast images. Often you have to re-window somewhat in order to best see the vessels. And we know this is a thoracic aorta angiogram because the contrast is concentrated within the thoracic aorta. See the pulmonary artery here is relatively dark. Here's the contrast coming out of the left ventricle. And if we follow the aorta from its root, we see that there's this dissection flap. It extends all the way from the root of the aorta up the arch and then down the descending aorta. So this is an example of a type A dissection. Type A dissections are those which involve the ascending aorta compared to a type B dissection. When you see an acute dissection, there are a few things you should make note of. One, where is the true lumen and where is the false lumen? The true lumen refers to the lumen of the vessel as it should be, as it arises from the aortic valve. And the false lumen refers to the space that's created by the intimal flap. Here, if we follow from the root, we see that this is the true lumen here. If we keep following it, we see here's the true lumen. And it's much smaller compared to the false lumen, which is not an uncommon finding. And even as we continue following the aorta, we see that the true lumen is very, very small. Here's the false lumen. Another finding you want to make note of is the fact that the false lumen is opacified with contrast. That implies that there's some sort of hole or fenestration between the true and false lumen somewhere. You can see that there's probably a hole here right at the base, right at the aortic root, which is allowing the contrast to get in there. Sometimes you won't see that, and the false lumen will not opacify very well. So that's another thing you want to make note of. Another finding you want to make note of is where the dissection flap is extending, and which vessels are coming off the true lumen, and which are coming off the false lumen. So if we follow all the great vessels coming off the aorta, here are the vessels of the arch. There's the innominate artery, left subclavian artery right there, and then a left common carotid artery. You can see that the dissection flap extends into all three of them. Here's that little linear filling defect. Eventually you kind of start to lose that flap, but the dissection at least extends into the base of those great vessels. Keep following the aorta into the abdomen, the first branch is going to be the celiac trunk. That's the most superior one, and you can see it's coming off that relatively small false lumen, and the flap does not extend into the celiac trunk itself. The next vessel coming off anteriorly is the superior mesenteric artery. Here it is, this is one of your important arteries supplying the bowel, and you can see that the flap extends into this artery. Even here you can see a small part of the flap. So that's something important to make note of. We have our renal arteries laterally. The right renal is coming off the false lumen, left off the true lumen. Keep going down, we have the inferior mesenteric artery, which is always relatively diminutive. This is coming off the true lumen, opacified. And then the aorta bifurcates into the common iliac arteries. The dissection flap extends into both proximal common iliacs. Here you kind of lose it in the right common iliac artery, but it does remain opacified. And then in the left common iliac artery, we see it extending all the way down. And here at the external and internal iliac arteries, you start to lose the dissection flap. So you want to describe exactly where you see the flap and which vessels are opacified. Common complication, what we really worry about with these is that the dissection flap occludes one of the important branch vessels. Unfortunately, that was not present in this case. That being said, a type A aortic dissection is an a uh, surgical emergency and should always be addressed immediately. So take home points about aortic dissection are that you wanna define your true lumen and your false lumen. You wanna figure out if the branch vessels are open and if they're arising from the true or the false lumen.